questions from within the room? Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I was, I, Hey, I knew I, I'm good at timing like that. You know what I mean? But it was a little, little fun. I'm sorry. I'll get you in a minute. Derek, congrats on the win, man. Uh, I guess walk me through that. I think it was a little bit of a roller coaster for people outside the cage for you. Me too. Bring me through that sequence and then evidently what happened after that. You know, I'm real good at timing that stuff, man. I always am good with that. And, uh, you know, I, so I got a lot of faith in it. And then I, I, I was take, being real patient for this fight. And, um, you know, uh, first round spent, uh, I probably lost that round. I, and I was just kind of chilling too much. And I, you know, I wanted to get back. And then uh, I'm good at timing that thing, you know, and I went for it. You know what I mean? And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it was a little close, you know what I mean? But uh, my instincts are real good. I'm not a cheap shot, you know what I mean? Never been. So, uh, you know, um, I don't think I really would have shot it if it wasn't there. And if anything, you watch the tape, he started going back down when he saw it coming because he was trying to get me to cheap shot, you know, instead of trying to defend himself, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, um, and then I was, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I never want to be a cheap shot. So uh, I would have been sorry. And whatever, you know, the judges said the call was, it would have been, would have been what it was, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, I'm pretty good with that. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, uh, yeah, I was really nervous, uh, you know, that, it, uh, you know, it was a little earlier or something. Cause that's what they were saying here. That's what he was trying to play. You know what I mean? But, um, worked it out, man. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good timing. I'm not a cheap shot. You know, you never been. So I've thrown a lot of kicks like that, just good timing on them getting up. And like, you know, so I kind of, I just knew, you know, cause I'm good at that timing. You know what I mean? And like, um, I, I guess I had a little too much faith in it. It was close. But uh, it worked out, you know what I mean? And then uh, he tried to play the possum. And he shouldn't have done that because it's a KO, you know what I mean? So I'll take it, you know what I mean? Yeah. For, for those of us in the arena, I think that the instant replay is only on one of those screens. So after it happened, I think there was a lot of confusion for people in there. For you, it seemed like you didn't know until your corner signaled to you. Was that originally, did you think, man, this is going to be a no contest or something? You know, I said, whatever the, whatever the commit judges and commissions say, that's what it is, you know what I mean? I've never been, I won't dispute anything too. I'm not a cheap shot and I'm not a, I'm not a crybaby either, so I'll take whatever's given to me. You know what I mean? And um, like, uh, they wanted to give me the win, so I'll take. Hell yeah, that's why I, I imagined it was. You know what I mean? Because you know what I mean. You better believe somebody hit me like that. I'm just gonna act like it didn't happen, get back up, and keep fighting. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I never played a, uh, never played a possum or nothing like that, and uh, and tried to get the 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 uh, uh, disqualified win. You know what I mean? What kind of win is that? You know what I mean? So, um, you know, um. Yeah, I was. I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. You know I mean, I felt I felt pretty legal. You know what I mean? But watching the tape, I don't know what the hell is legal necessarily. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I mean, hey, man, we're fighting and stuff like that, and we get kicked in the head. You know what I mean? You get kicked in the head, up, down. You know what I mean? Maybe a, a full soccer kick would be pretty bad. You know what I mean? But that wasn't no full soccer kick. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm good at timing on the way up. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I felt confident with it when I threw through it, absolutely. And then when he went back and tried to play, oh, it hurt. You know what I mean? Like that's whatever. Hey, man, if I get in trouble for that, that's on that's on me. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, my instincts don't uh are not cheap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It seemed like the replay did show that it was legal. As a fighter, do you like that there? I mean, it seems like there's been rule changes within the last couple of years to make it so that that game of putting your hand down and up doesn't really happen. So do you yeah. like that as a fighter that they'll they'll wean that out? That's tough. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like I yeah, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm not a cheap shot, and like you know, you know, I'm just a very fair fighter. You know, and um. Like, uh, you know, whether we're on the streets or not, when I was in the, when I was a kid and I knocked somebody down, I was like, I won. And you got, he get back up, want to fight. You want some more? You know what I mean? Like, I don't ever ch chase nobody down and punch him on the ground. You know, like when I knocked out Gertz, I didn't hit him again when he was down because I knew he was out. And that was my win and I knew it immediately. You know what I mean? Um, and so it's a game, you know what I mean? When people play that game, don't play that game, man. We're fighting. I never play that game. You never see me play that game. I said, come on. When he had my back, he tried to knee me in the body. He had a shot to my head. You know what I mean? I wasn't playing that game. He just had my weight down, you know what I mean? Like, if you see the first round, he kind of had me like that. You know, he went to knee me in the body. I said, come on, that's good. Let's give me some more, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I'm not trying to play no game. I'm not trying to keep my hand down so he didn't hit me in the head. I'm just trying to, you know, that's where my weight was, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, you don't play games. You play games, you get kicked in the head sometimes, you know? So, I mean, yeah, it's a tough rule, dude, you know what I mean? Um, but, I mean, I think everything's pretty chill, you know what I mean? Like, a full soccer kick's rough, you know what I mean? Maybe that's a full soccer kick, though, you know what I mean? But uh, you know, um, that, that obviously I didn't even hit him that hard, man. I don't think it was a knockout even, you know what I mean? So, uh, like, uh, he played the game and that was a bad game to play. You know what I'm saying? Cause, uh, he gave me the win. You know what I mean? He could have kept fighting for sure. That yeah. was going to be my follow up. Did you think that, that it was like, I don't want to say he's playing it up, but is that, it, is that kind of what you're saying? It was a uh, drama. It was, you know what I mean? Like drama club, you know what I mean? So 
Yeah, you know I mean, like, you know, full respect to Achilles. He came in with full respect to me, and I had full respect for him in this fight. I didn't think he was, uh, you know, I mean, he's an underdog or whatever, but I didn't think, you know, nobody's an underdog. It's just cage fighting, you know what I mean? So he's 12 and 1. I'm sure he's a very tough guy. And he'd be, you know, he wanted to mix it up. He came in, stepped up. You know, he was worried about me. And, uh, you know, that don't mean I'm not worried about him. You know what I mean? Like, you got to come in. Everyone's a fighter. I trained hard for this fight. I know he did. You know what I mean? Um, I was ready to go the whole three rounds, kick his ass every time. You know what I mean? And uh, maybe that's what he felt is that, like, you know, first round was strong for him, and I was going to get stronger and stronger and uh, more and more comfortable. And uh, he was like, yeah, hey, you know, I'll take He kicked me in the head. You know, hey, you know take, the, take the, take the, well, he was hoping for the DQ. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys. All right. Our next question is going to come from the line of Keith Schillen. Keith, your line is now live. Hey, Derek. Keith Schillen from Sherdog. Sure Congratulations on the victory. Thanks, brother. Um, so you just mentioned that you thought you lost the first round. What do you think went wrong in that round, and what adjustments were you going to make uh, heading in the second and the third round? Uh, he's just running from me a lot. You know, I like to bang it out, stand in the middle, and trade some punches. You know, um, he knew that about me. I mean, I see his style against the last opponent, uh, Mendel Nalo. He moved around a lot. I knew he was going to do that. I thought he was going to try to kick a leg, and he just ran away. You know what I mean? And it's hard to corner somebody. And then he got a takedown on me or something. He ended up on top a little bit too much. I don't think I, uh, I don't think I, you know, I mean, judges say whatever they want to say, but you know, I never feel that hot anyway. I, I might really dominate around and feel like I lost around sometimes, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I, uh, I didn't feel too hot about it. I wanted to do better. You know what I mean? And, uh, so I was just going to open up with my striking a lot more in this round, uh, in the second round. Uh, but I didn't even, you know, uh, I didn't even get the chance too much. Um, you know, uh, uh, yeah. So I just, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, win or lose. I don't know. We, we had, it didn't even matter. It was a knockout, right? So, you know, uh, you know, you know, on a three fight winning streak, what do you want next? You know, I want to talk guys, man. You know, the training camp is the hard part. So, um, I'm just trying to, uh, get the best fights I can because, uh, you know, that's where I'm breaking myself in the camp. You know, there's more money with bigger fights and it, it's, it's more for my career. Like I had Paul Daly lined up three, four weeks ago and that was great for my career. You know what I mean? Uh, it would have been a great win, but this one, uh, you know, I mean, no, no, I'm not taking any credit from Achilles. He's 12 one. He's coming up. You know what I mean? He's just fighting me on the toughest. So, um, you know, that, that's just a loss on his record. It happens to all of us. You know what I mean? But, uh, I'm sure he's a real tough guy and he's got a great future ahead of him or whatever. But, uh, you know, I want, I want guys that people know already so that I can get my credit, you know? Jay. Hey Derek, congrats on the win tonight. Um, the other factor is kind of uh, consistency. One of the things that was pointed out on the broadcast tonight was that you've basically been fighting once a year for the past few years. So how important is it to get back in there relatively quickly? So important, man. You know what I mean? I'm so glad Bellator lined me up right after uh, Daly pulled out. That was great. You know what I mean? Cause I was real upset about that. And they lined me up like, you know, that day with, with Killies, you know? So I said, yes, immediately. I kind of, uh, I uh, started thinking maybe I should have waited for a big, uh, bigger name, you know, like, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to fight. So I said, yes, and there's no problem with that. They turned me around right here. Hopefully they turn me again, uh, around again real quick. You know, it's COVID right now. So I know they're looking for fighters and uh, I'm ready to fight. So I'm not trying to take any more time off. You know what I mean? I've had some car accidents and stuff. And, uh, it sucks keeping me out of the loop, man, but I'm getting older and, you know, even getting paid for stuff like daily pulling out or something like that may keep me alive, but it don't keep me growing. You know, I'm trying to move my career along and not just survive. Congrats again. Thank you. Donald? Donna, go ahead. Hey, Donna, or Derek, how's it going? Good, brother. How you doing? Not too bad. Um, this is pretty much kind of un uncharted territory for yourself, the way that that win went down. How does the feeling in the cage compare when you've got that win in the way that you did, as opposed to generally when you've, you know, when you've won a tight decision or when you've knocked someone out or submitted them. You know, I just love to fight, you know what I mean? And like, uh, I was rewatching my, uh, first fight. It was Bellator with Pitbull the other day. And, uh, you know, that was my first time ever going to decision. And, uh, you know, I like to fight and, uh, you know, we fought the whole three rounds and, you know, I didn't even realize they were going to call a winner at the end. Really. I was just like, hell yeah, we did it. You know? And, uh, you know, um, definitely, uh, winning, uh, spectacularly like um with, with Gertz or something like that something where you know you won is really dope but um I just like to fight man I like to be in here and doing it and you know it would have been terrible to get the DQ right now um and only get one check uh but um I still am here doing what I love to do and I'm a lucky man and I could have turned around again and fought you know no injuries right now so um you know I'm just I'm just happy to be doing what I do man you know like and uh yeah absolutely great uh, you know, it would have been great to just knock him out and be able to like, woohoo, I really did it. You know what I mean? But you know, there's a little questionability at it, uh, about it at the beginning. And, um, 
you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, that's not my fault, you know, so uh, I'll take the win. I'm very happy. I'm going to get some pizza tonight, you know, get right back to the drawing board. Quickly before I go, uh, what's your message to MVP? I know that you said you wanted to fight him. What, what, would, what would you say to him if you were watching this right now? Uh, let's do it, man. Yeah, you know I mean, like, uh, come on. <laughs> um, you know, like, uh, I don't think that was too scary right there. Huh? You, you know what I mean? So uh, let's go, man. <laughs> we'll take one or two more here. Santiago. Hi, Dara. Greetings from Amsterdam and congratulations on a beautiful performance. Thank you, brother. Did you close the book on 155 or can we see you fight in the future at that weight as well? I was thinking, uh, I was thinking so, cause you know, I mean, I, every once in a while I think about, you know, I get, you know, a lot of these guys walk around a lot bigger than me, but they got a lot more muscle and they're shorter and I'm just a tall, skinny guy. You can't really squeeze water out of bone. So I'm thinking I'm closing the book and uh, going to put some muscle on and stay here at welterweight. I feel really comfortable. It's nice to not cut much weight. And, um, you know, I, I like when the other guy cuts a lot of weight, you know, so, uh, you know, and I like to be the shorter guy anyway. So, um, I don't want to be, um, you know, uh, trying to stay away from these little guys getting under me, under me. I like to get up under people because I like to go forward. I like to fight. You know what I mean? I'm not scared of, uh, I, I'm not scared of anything. You know what I mean? I don't care how big you are. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I, I mean, close the book is one thing. I just want my big fights. Yeah. I'm kind of, you know, um, I'm not thinking about it at least, you know, yeah, maybe a closed book, but it's still on the shelf, I guess. You never know. I'm kind of skinny. So, <laughs> enjoy the victory sir thank you brother all right Derek thanks for the time congratulations of course. thank you guys appreciate you guys Oy. still hurts it feels like a car accident